Uh, g'day, this is Simon, about to dress up as the Buffhead superhero Captain Australia. Uh, I thought I'd give a quick rundown of who I am, what I'm doing and why, because I'm on a mission today and you're going to see some very weird streams about to come through. Uh, so yeah, first up, I'm a stage 4 cancer survivor. I had a 6 months to live prognosis, that was 5 years ago. I beat it, but I couldn't bounce back from it. And I realized I needed to take a big walk for my own healing, just uh, a pilgrimage, get, get back in touch with the natural world. I'd done it before as a child, long story, you can learn more if you're curious. But I needed to take a big walk and that's where it all started. Because I, I soon realized that I could superhero up for science and, and make a spectacle of myself, do the walk dressed as the Buffett superhero, Captain Australia, and it's all in the hopes that that will earn your attention, your support, and then you look past me and you see this important charity behind me. So the charity is called the Kids Cancer Project. Uh, 950 Aussie children every year are diagnosed with paediatric cancer. These are forms of cancer that specifically attack children, like neuroblastoma. So uh, of these 950 kids, 20% of them don't survive treatment. So three children every week, one every other day, are dying to paediatric cancer. So I, I passionately support this cause and that's my main reason for walking at this point because simply having hope and being able to be of use has been enough to heal me. So I'm actually doing really well pretty much. This past week I had a threat that I may have a secondary cancer. So I have to have an MRI and get all that looked into but I smile still. You know? So after a grim, debilitating battle with cancer, thyroid damage, horrible side effects, uh, crippling existential crisis, I'm good. So I want to I wanna demonstrate that hope concretely that a broken life can be fixed in the hopes that it might help other people as well. So what am I doing today? I've been given a daily donor dare of doom. So what you're going to see is a bunch of streams where <laughs> I have to sing, Jesus help me, um, so it's a Daryl Braithwaite song, it's a lovely song, but I'm not a singer and I'm a naturally shy person despite all this superhero stuff, so I have to sing a song called The Horses, I got a lovely uh, uh, donation and dare received from a, a chap called Daniel and he just wants me to sing Daryl Braithwaite's The Horses, so I could have done that in my home but I, I feel the spirit of it is to get out in public and <laughs> make an idiot of myself. So what I'm going to do is a series of streams. I think live streams are great because they're authentic. I can't rehearse this. It's just straight from the heart. So uh, I will, over a series of streams, you'll see me sing the song in different locations. Uh, and then when I get home, I'll try and edit together uh, something a little bit, I don't know, I hope it will be at least funny if nothing else. Um, so yeah, you're going to see throughout the day me in different places around Sydney, dressed as Captain Australia, singing Daryl Braithwaite's The Horses, and this is my explanation of what's going on and why. So yeah, all the best. It's all in support of a charity called the Kids Cancer Project. Uh, you'll see Sticky Post has all kinds of info about that, and if you can find it in your heart to support the charity, or may, may good karma follow you all your days. Uh, but if not, I hope you get something from it anyway. The main message here is that, and the big walk is a metaphor for you can get through darkness. You can. Life might want to grind you down. Life might want to crush us. But we can stand up. We can pick a direction and we can get walking. So I hope that's of help to somebody out there. Anyway, anyway all the best. And when you start to see these weird streams coming through, don't freak out. Uh, so this is Simon signing out. I'm going to put on my Captain Australia gear and go walking through the city and then we'll uh, start singing. All the best. Cheers. We will fly way up high and when the cold wind blows or in the sun laughing and having fun with all the people that you know and if the situation should keep us separated you know the world won't fall apart and you will free the beautiful bird that's caught inside your heart
can't you hear her as she cries so loud but it's a wild no over water and cloud that's the way it's gonna be little darling you go riding on the horses yeah yeah way up in the sky little darling and if you fall i'll pick you up i'll pick you up you will grow and until you go and i'll be right there by your side or in the sun laughing and having fun something something up the right I hear all the people of the world in one bird's lonely cry. See them trying every way they know how to make their spirit fly. Can't you see him twisted on the ground? He's got a broken looking all around and that's the way it's gonna be little darling you'll go riding on the horses yeah yeah way up in the sky little darling and if you fall i'll pick you up i'll pick you up so that was a daily donor dare of doom for daniel thank you daniel um, I'm gonna get a few more recordings of that because I couldn't remember the words. I have to check the words It's one of those songs that it's kind of imprinted because it's a, such an iconic song, but Last heard it many years ago um, So I'll have another crack from another location and then I'll edit it into one continual video uh, All the best. This is just Captain Australia doing a daily donor dare of doom for Daniel. Cheers G'day, this is Captain Australia again uh, still trying to do this uh, Daniel's daily donor dare of doom so I got a dare from Daniel to sing the Daryl Braithwaite song horses I'm not a singer I'm a naturally shy person despite all of this superhero bizzo that I'm doing so uh, as people walk past and I'm there flamboyantly singing it makes me feel a little bit awkward but I'm on the hook. Daniel's there becomes my doom. He has super villained up for science. So Daniel, thank you for your donation to the Kids Cancer Project. That's absolutely lovely. I'm recording myself singing this song a few different times in a few different locations in the hopes that at one point I will get the lyrics correct. And if I do, then I'll be able to edit it together at home and give it to Dan as the uh, outcome of his horrible supervillain dare but thank you daniel and your donation goes into the science behind pediatric cancer so the kids cancer project every every dollar goes to the kids cancer project and it's straight into research so uh it's all about those 950 aussie kids diagnosed every year so um all right here we are we're at the kangaroo point cliffs which i thought would be a nice little backdrop um i am not a cinematographer just as i am not a singer but let's go all right <clears throat> We will fly way up high And where the cold wind blows Or in the sun Laughing and having fun With all the people that she knows And if the situation Should keep us separated You know the world won't fall apart and you will free the beautiful bird that's caught inside your heart can't you hear her as she cries so loud so that's a wild note over water and cloud and that's the way it's gonna be little darling you'll be riding on the horses yeah yeah way up in the sky little darling and if you fall i'll pick you up i'll pick you up you will grow and until you go i will be right there by your side and even then 
whisper in the wind and she will carry up your ride i hear all the people of the world in one bird's lonely cry see them trying every way they know how to make their spirit fly can't you see him twisted on the ground he's got a broken wing looking all around and that's the way it's gotta be little darling you'll be riding on the horses yeah yeah way up in the sky little darling and if you fall i'll pick you up i'll pick you up there we go i don't have a xylophone do 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 or a glockenspiel or whatever you call them um oh there's somebody commenting singing along with you mate <laughs> yeah yeah uh, well i wish i could like screen you in there Haley. Uh, uh, at least it would be probably doing less damage to the public to have two of us soften it a little bit um yeah so that's my second run at it now i'm going to go up the top of the cliffs and get a view of the city and try for a number three and i guess i might leave it there i think i've made a reasonable effort and i'll try and edit in, edit it up for uh, daniel so daniel again thank you so much for your daily donor dare of doom and for all me calling you a super villain you're not you're a bloody legend you're supporting a, a very worthwhile charity and that's a, a great and good thing that you've done so thank you so much um i'm gonna sign off and try you'll see me singing again later oh my god all right all the best everybody take care of yourselves G'day, this is Captain Australia, and this is a case of third time pays for all, I think. Uh, so, I have received a daily donor dare of doom from a lovely person called Daniel, who made a donation. Uh, it's all for the Kids Cancer Project. So this is a charity focused on the science behind solving pediatric cancer in our lifetimes. So it's about uh, the 950 Aussie kids every year who are diagnosed, three kids a week die. 20% of those diagnosed do not survive treatment, okay? So, and the rest face up to the chronic health conditions and problems and, uh, and whatnot that I had to deal with in my own fight with stage four cancer. So it's a massively worthy charity and Daniel, your support is amazing. Thank you for that. You're an outright dead set legend and uh, you have super villained up for science and now I'm on the hook to do your dare, which of all of the things you could have chosen, you chose singing. So I have to sing Daryl Braithwaite's The Horses. I've had two attempts already. This is number three. Hopefully somewhere in there there'll be something that uh, I can edit together for you so you'll have a little video of Captain Australia's music video. Cover of Daniel, da Daniel? Daryl Braithwaite's The Horses. Um, let's hope I don't flub the lyrics this time. It's all live stream, so unrehearsed, unplanned, wild and organic. And here we go. So we are overlooking Brisbane and and a one and a two and a one two three no okay maybe i should do a rap you know uh, uh, get it straight so you see I'm, I'm naturally a shy person and i'm naturally an overthinker so when i'm given a task like this my brain just goes here there everywhere and makes me twice as likely to stuff it up so as with anything the important thing people is relax take it easy do your best you're never going to thrive when you're under stress. You need to, stress is always the enemy. If you're studying for an exam, or you have to sing a song or speak in public or whatever, the absolute key is just try and relax. So, here we go. Let's uh, cast my mind, remember the song. Okay. Uh, Daryl Braithwaite's The Horses for my mate Daniel, who has given a daily donor dare of doom. Okay. We will fly way up high Up where the cold wind blows Or in the sun Laughing and having fun With all the people that she knows And if the situation should keep us separated You know the world won't fall apart and you will free the beautiful bird that's caught inside your heart. Can't you hear her as she cries so loud? So that's a wild note 
over water and cloud and that's the way it's gonna be little darling you'll be riding on the horses yeah yeah way up in the sky little darling and if you fall i'll pick you up i'll pick you up do, 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 do. You will grow, and until you go, I will be right here by your side. And even then, whisper the wind, and she will carry up your ride. I hear all the people of the world in one bird's lonely cry. See them trying every way they know how To make their spirit fly Can't you see him twisting on the ground He's got a broken wing looking all around But that's the way it's gonna be, little darling You'll go riding on the horses, yeah, yeah way up in the sky little darling but if you fall i'll pick you up i'll pick you up dun 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 glock 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 and spiel and singing without music is very very hard singing at all is hard daniel i hope i've satisfied your daily donor dare of doom um all the best i have to go and pick my kids up from school so my wife is doing a nursing play placement at the um, Brisbane Children's Hospital. It's such a rewarding but harrowing work and it, it kind of, for me, it actually, it, it, it resonates with what I'm trying to do. Just how, like, no child should face up to serious illness at all, whether it's cancer or some of these other problems. Like she's helping a, a, a little child who, I think, I don't know, they, they've had developmental problems because the parent was on meth or something when they were born. And they have to carry that for the rest of their life. And it's just tragic, a, life, a young life full of promise. So these 950 Aussie kids, if you, if you choose to support the Kids Cancer Project, you are directly helping them. But there's a 950 next year, which could hopefully be 927 and then 910. So it's not just saving lives today but these future children as yet unborn who will be preyed upon by paediatric cancer. So that's why I'm doing this buffet, buffet stupid hero, singing Daryl Braithwaite, what is wrong with me sort of stuff. And it really is just my way of trying to make a difference for a charity that I feel is very important. The big walk, it started, it's all about my own healing. That's all, it's, it's simply started with that. So I walked as a child. I had to escape a bad domestic situation. I was 15 years old, I left home, I walked to Sydney. That's where the big walk comes from. That's what it's about. I needed that hope, that adventure, and that healing again now in my much, 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 much older life. I desperately needed it. I was broken by my fight with cancer. Broken. And I, I think that has allowed me to recover my hope and build it. And hope is a circle, it grows when you share it with other people so by by then realizing if, if I did a big walk I could superhero up for science do this stuff try and get people to look at me and then look past me to the charity then I, I'd be creating a, even a wider circle of hope which then becomes even more it's like this this spiral effect because it's it, it amplifies the healing that you would otherwise otherwise get just by yourself by giving your hope to other people. It boosts it and it comes back to you. So yeah, being of service really has, has helped me tremendously. I wouldn't be where I am today if not for the charity, so I owe them a great debt. And that's my, what my walk to Melbourne is about, because I'm already healing up, you know? I'm doing okay. And uh, now I, I just feel that it's like a solemn duty that I have to help this charity to repay them for everything they've done for me. And what have they done for me? They've just needed help. They need your help. You know, so you, me, and we, we can, we can do something good. And it's just, it's just that old saying, kindness is the antidote to suffering. So if there's pain in your life, you can, you can, you know, somebody actually said that, um, and I had never thought about it this way, and it was just the other day, that this is uh, also my way of fighting back against cancer. It's like a revenge thing. Because the scientists, like if there are, 
if there are superheroes here, it's these these scientists are in like a stand-up fight for children's lives at the end of the day. You know, they're trying to solve a puzzle that humanity has yet been unable to solve. And human children, not just human lives, but precious children's lives are at stake. So, you know, there's the, the, the idea of helping them is kind of akin to giving cancer a punch in the nuts, if that makes sense. So the person was suggesting that, you know, um, I'm Batman, cancer is the Joker, and trying to raise money to, to do the research, that's just like, that's the Batarang, if that makes sense. I don't buy it, to be honest. For me, it's all about hope. But I had never even thought about it in that context, which, um, you know, it just shows that you, you see yourself a certain way and the world can see you completely differently. Oh, getting some waves. Anyway, um, Daniel, that was your Daily Donor Dare of Doom, Daryl Braithwaite. Um, lots of D's in there. Thank you so much for your support for the Kids Cancer Project. May good karma follow you for the rest of your days, mate. Uh, I need to shoot home and get the kids from school. So, all the best. I'll be doing more out and about in the city tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. And I'm, so, I'm very sorry about the singing. <laughs>